Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Getting cancer from a breast implant? I'm L Specialist Denise Dodor. A local woman shares her story, and we'll tell you what you need to know, coming up on Eyewitness News. Still ahead, we are hearing today from a local woman who got cancer from her breast implants. I did this nine years ago out of, you know, being vain. We're also talking to a doctor about the concerns over certain types of implants. A local woman who got cancer from breast implants shares her cautionary tale. So far, the FDA says they've received reports of nine deaths and about 350 cases of women who developed a rare blood cancer linked to breast implants. Our health specialist Denise Dodora asked this Orange County patient what she would tell others about getting implants. I probably would have done it anyway because the chances are so small. Despite the rare cancer risk, Yolanda said she still would have undergone breast implant surgery, yet she does feel some regret. Yolanda asked not to be identified due to the nature of her job. I did this nine years ago out of, you know, being vain, basically. I didn't meet them. Now I have cancer. Nine years after getting the implants, she started feeling swelling and pain. She's sharing her story now because when she was diagnosed, she felt alone. Years ago, people didn't know to look for these things. The FDA now tracks a small number of cases of breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma or ALCL. Plastic surgeon Dr. Justin West says researchers are looking into the connection between the different types of implants. Most of the cases are associated with textured implants, um, but, but we've also seen them in smooth uh, implant cases, so you can't say that one specific device is causing the problem. A breast implant is a foreign substance, and so when you place it in the breast, your body will create a thin capsule around it, that's scar tissue, and in very rare instances, possibly one in a million, your body will have a heightened immune response. All patients should have the implant removed, the fluid around that implant removed, and the scar tissue removed. What's unclear at this point is whether patients should also have chemotherapy or radiation. Four years later, Yolanda remains cancer-free. She warns, pay attention to any unusual symptoms and tell your doctor right away. Don't wait until, you know, it is really obvious that there is a problem. In Orange, Denise Dodor, ABC7 Eyewitness News.